So in the fall of uh, 1970, not long after I had made that picture of Jane Fonda, uh, a man named Minor White, who was the head of photography at MIT, was coming to Cleveland to do a three-day workshop. And I went to the workshop. I had been doing photographs for about five months. And he was somebody that I was very keen, very interested in meeting, because he had started the magazine Aperture, and he had been this very influential teacher at this point for more than 35 years. So I went to the workshop, and on the second day, I got my nerve up to say to this man, will you look at my work? And he said, sure. And he asked me to come to where he was staying, and he went through my work, and he said, well, this is mostly shit, but if you like, you can come and study at my house. And he had something called a live-in workshop where three, four people a year would come to his house and study photography in a very close way. At the same time, he was teaching photography at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. And so after doing a little questioning about who he really was, a week later, I hitchhiked to Boston and started my photographic life. And my very first assignment by Minor when I got there was to organize his library. And in doing that, for the first time, I began to realize photography too, not just literature, which I had studied, has this remarkable history. And unlike literature, which starts thousands of years back, photography at that point started only less than 150 years back. And I thought, somehow with this medium, maybe I can make a little scratch and leave a tiny mark. And so that was my ambition and Miner helped me get that started.